We often think of play as this very important thing for kids, but that's just child's play. Then we realize later on how much we try and tap into our inner child to like feel happy and feel good. I became interested in the play process because number one, I've been playing my whole life. And again, I'm a very playful person. I always tell the story, I was a pretty good college student until I found as a, a San Francisco State student, this class called Grow Through Adventure and the play class. and. Uh, that class made a huge impact on me because I took it from this guy, Dr. Bill Michaelis. He was sort of an outgoing, crazy teacher who sort of engaged you in play and... Less talk, more play? Okay. As I sort of grew older and sort of had taken on different careers, I'd had a chance to come back here to San Francisco State. The opportunity to go full circle and teach that class that made a big impact on me uh, felt like the right thing to do to give back and to kind of like create that opportunity for the next generation. People need play to be happy and healthy. Play is a very natural thing, and I think that most people think of it as like frivolous and not worth their time as adults, but yet maybe aren't in jobs they're happy with or health is sort of suffering and don't realize that they have access to this sort of like force that is all through the universe called play. And uh, it's spontaneous and it's a little bit short-lived, super engaging, and if you can tap into it, it's funny how it can kind of change the quality of your life. The part of your brain that controls play is deep down in the core of your brain where like your emotions are. So what I think what happens when people don't play is they almost like shut down a side of themselves. And because of that, it kind of goes back to that you're not working at your best and you're probably not feeling your best. And I almost feel like there's a like, there's like a karmic inertia, right? When you're not feeling good, you kind of want to bring everybody else down with you. But a lot of research shows that when you are feeling good and you do become more successful, you start to act more unselfishly. And by giving sort of that stuff away, you end up getting more in return. And I think play is the same way. When you tap into it, it's funny how it can amplify and multiply and it'll really be the thing that can connect you to a lot of people. I've taken away a lot of lessons. I've definitely learned that no matter how old you get, play is always valuable. You can always learn and grow through play. Play is not frivolous. It's something that is actually really beneficial to your health and to people around you. You. World peace is possible through play. Play levels the playing field, is what overrides any kind of difference, whether it's status, class, or color, sexuality, or age. So play transcends all of that and binds everybody together. I love play! Come on! Oh! Woo! Merry Christmas! Happy holidays! Yay! Yeah.